Bounce intercepted. That's a steal for Jamari Wheeler. Wheeler on the push. Nice lead for Brockington and rejected. Down by shot. Durham on the long rebound. That's a bad shot by Seth Lundy. He needs to get to the free throw line. And you take bad shots, it's going to lead to runouts. Dre Galloway doing a nice job of getting to the basket. Thompson trying to throw it down. Karam's off. That was not called a charge. They called a travel. Either way, it ended up Indiana ball. And then the three on the other end falls for Myron Jones. Two guys who are not playing their best, and they've got to get it going for this Hoosier team to be successful. <laughs> on the drive, it's Armand Franklin for two more and an 8-3 start for IU. Christian Lander, the freshman from Evansville, reclassified. This should be his senior year in high school as Durham goes baseline. That ball knocked free, and Buttrick comes up with it. Baseline, nice feed, beautiful look to Miles Dredd for Myron Jones. Five on the shot clock, got a hurry, Franklin launching from deep, and he hits. Two to shoot. Have to get rid of it quickly, Franklin got a good look, offensive rebound, Galloway in the wraparound to race Thompson. Craig Galloway is a winning player. Penn State's offense just had not been able to find much of a rhythm, and Sessom starting to get it going. And now an Indiana turnover, push ahead, Jones to the rim, got it in the foul, he'll go to the line for one more. Way to bounce down to Jackson Davis, and Jackson Davis had an easy look there, making it a six point game. And then the half gone by here in the second half. Jackson Davis looking for room on the baseline, working against Hera, gets the bucket and the foul. He'll go to the line for one more. Three straight games with three points a game. He's found the range here, two for three now from three. Is Jackson Davis on the baseline, able to put it down. Thought about the three, Lundy will drive instead. That won't go, long rebound pops out to Brockington. Brockington taking it right at Galloway with a bucket and the foul. Penn State's outscored Indiana by five in the second half to tie it. Franklin to the rim with a two-hand flush. Finnessy looking to push. Finnessy going all the way to the rim and Rob Finnessy with two more. Finnessy finds Durham, and Finnessy and Durham connect again. Finnessy trying to make it 14, the rebound for Sessoms, and now Sessoms looking to push. And he throws it away, sloppy pass, Durham with the intercept, ahead to Galloway, the long feet. Three falls short, Penn State down nine, just going to cut into it as all the way to the rim goes Seth Lundy, and here come the Nittany Lions back within seven. Seem like Al Durham is having tonight, or Rob Finnessy's having tonight. How, how does that how does that change how you play the rest of the way? Well, I just think that you can really overthink things. Seven-point game. Myron Jones pulling the trigger on the three, and it's a four-point game with 3.12 to play. Good job by Armand Franklin blowing that play up, meeting that roller really high at the elbow. Sessoms, that three falls. Contested late in the shot clock. Didn't matter. Picked up by Galloway on a switch. Sessoms, 10 on the shot clock. Sessoms. Pull up jumper and Penn State for the first time tonight takes the lead. Here we go for Indiana. They have one timeout left. And baseline drive. Galloway in the paint, kick out, and a whistle and a foul. That's a tough call at the end of a game. No timeouts for Penn State. Two seconds left, one second. Sessions for the win. It's blocked away by Finnessy, and we're going to overtime. Wow. And off the tip, right to the rim goes Jamari Wheeler. There's one thing you can always say about Jamari Wheeler is that he's going to be faster than almost anybody on the floor. Grace Thompson inside has the answer for IU. Indiana up the floor with Franklin. Jackson Davis turns, got the bucket and the foul. 19 points for Myron Jones. And his 20th point ties this game at 85. Backing out to Finnessy. 
five on the shot clock. Finnessy going to have to go. Finnessy pivots, turns. Jumper is true for Rob Finnessy, and Indiana leads by a pair. Here's Sessoms. Four seconds, three seconds. Sessoms drives into the teeth of the defense. Fade away is not going to go from Brockington, and Indiana survives at home.